Hi guys, so today Kendra and I are going to be sharing with you a what we eat in a day number two because you guys really enjoyed the first one. So let's get started. Okay, so for breakfast, I've been loving this blueberry oatmeal. It's super simple, but also super healthy, which is the best part, of course. And I like to start with some steel cut oats. These are from the brand Nature's Path, but you can use whatever brand you like. These are gluten free, but I prefer the original organic ones. And of course some almond milk, this is from Trader Joe's, and of course also blueberries. And I like to start with about a cup of oatmeal. You don't wanna put more than that because oatmeal does expand when you make it. And of course I'm going to add the almond milk, just enough to see it floating at the top because it's going to thicken up later, and a handful of blueberries. Put it in the microwave for about two minutes, let it sit for two minutes, and voila, breakfast. And I like to have my breakfast with green tea as well. For lunch, this is the laziest, easiest lunch you could ever make. This is Amy's Pesto Pizza. It's super easy and all you need is cooking spray and the pizza. Like, y'all, when I tell y'all sometimes lunch, I don't want to cook or make anything. This is the quickest thing. Just pop it on the pizza pan, pop it in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes and you got lunch. Super simple, especially if you plan on cooking something more elaborate with more ingredients for dinner. This is quicker and easier, but still healthy. So for snacks, a lot of the times we like to have nuts and our favorites are almonds and cashews. But recently we've been making these rice cake little snacks and they're super quick and easy. So all you're gonna need are some cinnamon rice cakes, some almond butter, some berries, and some honey. So it's pretty self-explanatory. You just put your almond butter on your rice cake and then add your toppings, which are the berries and the honey, and that's it. So Kendra and I like to eat this dinner quite often and I like to start out with the sweet potatoes first because they take the longest and I cover them in olive oil just because they cook better and the olive oil gives the sweet potatoes more flavor. So I like to pop those in the oven for about an hour at 410 degrees and then I like to marinate my salmon overnight in teriyaki sauce and this rosemary lemon pepper. So I get both of those from Target or Whole Foods, either one. So you wanna let that sit overnight for the best flavor. And I like to grill my salmon when I'm using teriyaki sauce just because I feel like it tastes better and I like the crunch on the edge. You can bake it, but it tastes better grilled to me. And then we have some green beans and it's just easier to do frozen green beans, honestly. And we just pop those on the stove for about five to six minutes. So once the sweet potatoes are done, we like to add this Earth Balance Butter. And this is the original one. Um, it's really, really good. It tastes like regular butter, but it's gluten-free. So if you are curious about gluten-free butter, this one is the one to go with. So yeah, that pretty much completes this what we eat in a day number two. Let us know if you guys want us to do more. We definitely will because we have tons of recipes that we like to do and that we would like to share with you guys. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys next time. <music>